Hey y'all, welcome back. My name is Jennifer. If you're new, welcome you guys. Today we have a very exciting video. We have all, all of the brand new Westman Atelier. Y'all, these are their new squeaky clean liquid lip balms. Yes, did I buy them all? I did. <laughs> I want to show you all of them, what they look like swatched on the lips, I'll swatch them on the arms, I'll give you all the things, all the info on these, so if you want to see all of these, keep watching. Alright y'all, let's talk about the brand new squeaky clean lip balms from Westman Atelier. I purchased mine off Westman Atelier's website, they did have a bundle, now the bundle saved me a few bucks, <laughs> quite frankly. So the bundle is $204, they're $38 a piece normally. This bundle made each lip product $34 a piece. So there is a little bit of a savings there. Now, a little bit about this brand new product, right? I mean, what is it? Essentially, a tinted clean lip treatment that cushions the lips with weightless juicy nourishment to hydrate and protect naturally derived pigments, squeaky clean ingredients, and an innovative gel oil system impart an unforgettable, pillowy, luxurious sheen. It's on-the-go liquid color and hydration you can feel good about, wear it alone, layer it over lipstick to add depth or sh and shine without stickiness, and of course, no parabens, PEGs, talc, phthalates, synthetic fragrances, no animal testing. Key ingredients from this product are, let's see, or, organic jojoba, almond and argan oil blend, shea butter, plant-based seed oil. Hmm, it's supposed to really nourish, soothe, and hydrate. That is what the, what the product's supposed to do. So, let's talk about it, okay? There are six shades that they came out with. It's, 6.5 mLs or 0.21 ounces in each product. Let's unbox them because I'm excited to show you. Oh my gosh. These are so fun. And I don't, I just am so excited to show you kind of the colors and what they look like and we'll swatch them, all the things. So this is how they come. So they come in a box like this, like all of her other Westman Atelier products. You know, her, her packaging's pretty similar. Name is on the top. This one is called Pip Squeak. How cute is that, you guys? Comes in a bag right here. No skimping on, on the packaging. Take it out. And look how cute this is. Wow. So this is beautiful. This is Pipsqueak. It has a twist top here, similar to how her other product is. A doe foot applicator here. There's no magnetic closure or anything like that. It does twist. It does have Westman Atelier, like her other products right here, around the out outer here. Very nice. I mean, this is like a matte, almost like a, um, how would I even describe this? It's almost like a demi matte, it's, it feels good, right, to the touch. Then on one side has the actual lip color so you can see what the color looks like. On the bottom is what the color is, how much is in it, etc. Very nice, well done, well done. So this is shade Pip Squeak. So you can see here, this is the shade. Very pretty shade. I'll show you a swatch of Pip Squeak there. And I am actually wearing Pip Squeak, but I will reapply. And I don't have anything else on underneath, guys. So this is a true pigment. This is Pip Squeak. 
I love it. It feels good. It doesn't feel clumpy or too much. Like it doesn't feel like, it feels like a really nice balm. Really pretty glossy. Ugh, I mean, it's nice. It's really nice. Okay, this is Pipsqueak. And I'm not doing these in any particular order at all. I'm just picking the ones up that I have. So this is, I think, hold on, I gotta, I gotta Google how to say this. It's all French names, so I'm, I'm not familiar. So this one is the shade Nunu. So let's see what this one looks like. Same packaging, same little, how sweet is this? Nunu means nanny, I believe. <laughs> Yes, Nunu. So here's Nunu. And this is what the shade looks like. Isn't that pretty? So let's swatch this one right here. Now this is a lighter one, Nunu. So let's put this one, it's kind of more bubble gummy, right? Kind of like a bubble gummy light pink. This one's so pretty. It kind of has a little bit of that like almost pinky bubblegummy undertone, but I think this would look really beautiful on its own or over something, right? Like over a really pretty lipstick or something like that. Very pretty indeed. Wow. Gives it just the right amount of shine, right? And no, no glitter or sparkle in these from what I've seen. Feels so, so nourishing. This is Nunu. This one is Garçon. I believe I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> but again, same packaging. Let's see what this one looks like. Garçon. Garçon here. This one's deeper, guys. It's almost like a plummy shade. Look. Oh my goodness. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so here's Garcon. This is so pretty, Garcon. Okay, let's try Garcon on. So Garçon for me feels like this perfect, like my lips, but better shade in a lot of ways. So I can wear a light layer or I can deepen it up. But even when I put on a little bit more, it doesn't feel clumpy. It doesn't feel like too much. It has this like Maybe orangey vanilla, I don't know. Some There is a almost scent, but I don't know what it is. Hold on, let me see. So I was trying to see if there was something that, because it's almost like a fruity, something a little fruity, but almost like orangey, maybe. But I can't, it doesn't say on the website or Sephora or anything like that, so I have not tried to figure out what that is yet, but I like it. <laughs> I do like it. So this is Garçon. Very pretty. Very beautiful, isn't it? This is shade Nana. So this one here is kind of a nude shade. Very pretty. Again, lot. this one's a lot lighter. Almost, um, this one's probably cool, a cool nude shade right here. But these swatches are helpful. Very neutral. This would look pretty, probably over something. I have such pigmented lips for me. This is Nana, it's so pretty. 
I really like this shade. I think this would look good on its own, like just throw in your bag shade. I like it. it this would be beautiful over a lip product, you guys. So beautiful. I, at the end, I might try to layer a few of these, like over maybe a lip suede or whatnot, or over a different lipstick, see how they do over that. But these feel so good. This is Nana. So this one is Shushu. This here. So we are going to try Shushu. So this is this shade. It's a little like a, like a purplier, well, like a pinky. This is more pinky. Let's see, Shushu. Yeah, even more baby pinky than this one. This one's more bubble gummy and this one's baby pink, I think. Hmm. At the end, I will put a, I will put an infographic with all the swatches so that you guys can see which ones are which. But let's try this one on. Shoo shoo. Just a very pretty neutral baby pink. Very simple, very easy to wear. Very pretty. Yeah, I like this one. So this one is Shushu. Very pretty. Shushu. So this is Mapus. Let's open this one. Now this one is, ooh, look at this one, guys. Let's open it. Ooh, ooh, it's like a fuchsia. Yes. This one is definitely a fuchsia. Ooh, let's try it on. Mm-hmm. I definitely feel like I need like a fuchsia, a fuchsia blush on with this, right? Very pretty. This is my post. So I thought I'd pull out the Westman Atelier Lip Suede. This is gorgeous, you guys. So let's try a few of these on with a lip gloss over or the lip, you know, the lip balm and we'll see how it works. So let's play with a pretty shade here. because, Quite frankly, they're all very pretty. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty. So I'm thinking we'll play maybe with, maybe with this kind of plummy shade underneath. It's this one here. And we'll go in and just kind of fill in the lip. Just to kind of see, it's a little cooler. And a lot of times I just mix these, quite frankly. So this one is called Nana. Let's try it over this color. Just a little bit. Ooh, that's pretty. What do we think? Okay, so that's one shade. That's like one lip combo. The next one, let's do a deeper shade. Let's do this hot pink. I love this shade. It's so unique. It is so different, you guys. So different than really anything I have. It's definitely like a suede texture. Let's try to find that. What is that shade called that's similar? Now, I found it, you guys. This is my pousse. This is that shade. I thought this would look good over it. What do you think? Yeah? Okay.
Ooh, those go together so well. It's like that shade, but amplified. <laughs> wow. What do you think? <laughs> this is so exciting. I get so giddy about this stuff. I love it. Oh, so fun. Okay. All right. So let's do this brick red. Ooh. Can I just tell you how easy it is to apply these shades? Although they are rich in pigment, if you just get a good, you know, lip brush and go around, I mean, it is not difficult. It doesn't feather. It's so nice. It's quality. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so let's try on. Oh, this one is... I think Pip Squeak might look good on top of this. Wow. Mmm. Wow. I mean, is that stellar or is that stellar? I mean, I think we should, we probably should end here, you guys. It's that good. What do you think? <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll insert a picture here of all the swatches with the names so that you guys are able to see them again. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I thoroughly, really am impressed with these lip glosses. Well, I'm calling them lip gloss. They're calling them like a tinted lip balm. What is it called? For real. It's different. It's squeaky clean liquid lip balm. They're like a liquid lip balm gloss because they got this beautiful shine to it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I like the fact that there's not glitter in these. For me, I love glitter, don't get me wrong, but I think that these are just so sophisticated, well done. These are well done, you guys, and I am very impressed very impressed with these. They're not drying. They're really nice. I'm going to wear them more and let you know how long lasting they are and things like that. But they aren't too thick. They aren't too thin. They aren't too sticky. They're very nice, you guys. So anywho's, I hope that you love this. I really do. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. It means so much to me. You have no idea. I invite you to subscribe below. Give me a like. I'd love to hear your thoughts about these. Have you tried them yet? If you have any questions, let me know, or you want to see different combinations, I'm happy to do so. I can swatch them on my Instagram or do another video. You guys just let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts or what you're wanting to see. Thank y'all so much. I will leave my latest video right here, and I'll see you there. Bye, y'all.